Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. We've gotten far enough into the Raspberry Pi project that I thought it was appropriate that we cover one very important step and that's one that I need to start remembering because I'm used to working with network devices like Cisco, uh, Juniper, where you just, for the most part, hit a power switch, you're done. Well, with Linux, you need to take a little bit more care. For those of you who haven't worked with it, there may be some processes running in the background where it may look like nothing's going on, but we need to make sure we do a clean, orderly shutdown so that a file is not left in a damaged state, that the information's written, and so on. So it's really not that big of a deal. You can see here on the bottom that I've already got logged in. We're going to show four different ways to do this. They all do the same way. It's just a matter of what you remember and sometimes depending on the Linux distribution that you've got installed. So the first one we'll do is real simple. We've got to do sudo to be able to use this particular command and just power off. That's it. And you'll see the system is going down and it is safe to pull the plug on the power as soon as you see power down. At that point it's done. So we'll hold here for just a moment and I'll get the uh, RPI rebooted and we'll be right back. Okay, now we've gotten it rebooted, so let's get logged back in here. Now this time we'll do sudo halt dash p. Now granted, I'm running a stock Raspbian distribution so I don't have any a lot of processes running on other than what would come with the basic process but you can see pretty much here what to expect it's gonna power down you know fairly quick now if you've got some some demons running or processes running then it may take it a little bit to shut down but it shouldn't be that big of a deal so you see what the same the command did the same thing here power down and we'll be back with our next command in just a second Okay, we're back again, so we'll get logged in. And this time it will be sudo space shutdown space dash h space now. And just like before, you see it as soon as it says power down, you're good to uh, remove the power. And if you need to uh, remove your SD card and switch to another one or you know whatever you're doing, then it's safe to do so at that point. So we'll pause again here and we'll be back for the last thing that we're going to show. Okay, now we're going to try the last command. And these are all ones that they, they're all pretty much a variation on a theme. But depending on, like I said before, the, the Linux distribution that you're using, you may have a situation where one of these commands will work and not the other. So this time, be another short one, sudo space halt. Oh, <laughs> helps if I log in now, doesn't it? So we'll do pi raspberry. Okay, now the command will probably work much better at this point. So we'll do sudo halt. Okay, it's going down. And it first sends out the a what's called a sig term signal or command to all the processes, telling them to go ahead and save their files for anyone that's got open, and then it sends a I believe it's a sig kill command to go ahead and shut all the processes down. Now at this point. You know, I'm trying to hit the enter key. It's even though the power light is still on on, on my Raspberry Pi, it is not acknowledging anything. So the power light is just there in in uh, in name only. So we've uh, you know you've seen four different ways of doing it. There's no one right way. It's just in in researching the process because I wanted to learn, you know, either the correct way or or the different ways of doing it. This is just you know four ways of doing it. And you may be able to get by once in a while with just pulling the power, but it's, it's better to shut it down cleanly just to, uh, to save yourself some headaches. Well, thank you again for joining another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. And for further information on what I've been doing and where I'll be heading with my uh, Raspberry Pi project, 
uh, please go over to www.ronnutter.com. Thank you again for listening and for going to the website.